This is another book where I feel like the blurb does not really reflect what is happening in the book. Like it mentions a secret of her own. And yes, you get to see that secret at the very end, like I mean in the last five pages or something. But from the blurb you would assume that it has a massive impact on Jodie's life, but no, no it doesn't. She couldn't care less. Hi folks, welcome back to my channel, I'm Kat, and today I would like to talk about The Widow by Kyra Ruda. It is part of Amazon First Reads and releases on the 1st of December, so I will try to keep this spoiler free. Jodie Escher enjoys all of the social gatherings and the prestige she gets as the wife of a congressman. But when her husband's affair and other shady dealings come to light, all she worked towards is in jeopardy. When Martin dies unexpectedly, it gives Jodie an option she had not considered before. She could just become a politician herself. The book is split in three parts. First, you get the perspectives of Jody and Martin while he is still alive and all of his dealings come to light. Then in the second part, you get to see Jody's own political career and you get the perspectives of Jody and Mimi, a friend of the family. The third part is kind of an after of her political career, but you still get the perspective of Mimi and Jody. While the voices between those three characters were not all that distinct, really, the way they see things is quite different between how Jody perceives herself and the reality around her and what the others see. It's quite a startling difference. Actually, to the point where I thought maybe we're dealing with an unreliable narrator here in Jody, but no, may maybe she's just a bit delusional. With all of the things that those characters are doing, you might wonder who you're supposed to root for at points. And the answer is no one, because Washington C is a cesspit and everybody's a crook. But if you care to find out more about the political dealings and just how much blackmailing and nepotism is going on in Washington and to get into Congress or in any kind of political career, I suppose, then this might be for you because it's a mess. Also makes you wonder whether you should just burn the whole system down because if that's how it works, then we're all screwed. Whenever you're with Jody, she likes to talk about all of the plans she has and all of the info she has on other characters so she can always get her way. But it gets a bit repetitive. She keeps telling you how she's doing things and ooh, all the things she knows. But she doesn't give you details on what she knows. Nor do you see all that much of her using it in a fashion that would make you think that she's sneaky or particularly skilled about this. It's more like somebody who's seen a political drama at one point is trying to blackmail their way into something. Because at points it seems a bit amateurish, the way she behaves. And like I said in the beginning, the secret of her own that comes out at the very end is, well personally I think not that much of a big deal. It didn't seem all that drastic to me and even more so because Jody doesn't particularly care. It actually helps her in one particular instance and she doesn't seem fast at all. Which, you learn a few things about Jodie and you're like, okay, it makes sense that she is not bothered then. So in the beginning it's all about the social stuff for Jodie. She just wants to be on committees and go to balls and dinners and whatnot. And as an introvert this all sounds super exhausting to me, but Jodie is there for it. That's all she really wants. Okay, she also wants to live well above her means, but you know, mostly she wants the social stuff. But when she can't get it through Martin anymore, either because he tanked his career or because he dies at some point, then she just goes for it herself, mostly so she can get back into all of the social stuff. I was actually more interested in Mimi's side of the story. She speaks of a long-term plan and maybe because it's for 30 years in the future or something, so maybe she will still be around to see that come to fruition. But she doesn't really tell you what this plan is. And I would have quite liked to know more about that part rather than 
Jody being bitchy about things or fighting with people to keep her office or votes or whatever. But yeah, at least you get a hint of Mimi's perspective. Well, I didn't notice any mistakes in this novel apart from the one typo where she is going to extract her revenge. It's like, mm -hmm, cool, is she bringing a syringe for that? Yeah, this is just a fun typo, really. Make me stop for a second. So overall, if you like a commentary on just how fucked the election system is, or the political system in general in this particular instance in the US, but it applies to other places as well, but if you needed a commentary on how fucked it all is, then this book might be for you. All in all, I would give it this cat and a paw because I quite enjoyed the ride. Minus the repetitions of Jody's like, oh, I'm going to do this and that and it's going to work out like this. And then it doesn't because she's impatient and rude and I don't know, her perception of reality is a bit skewed. I hope I didn't give too much away. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to help this channel out. And let me know in the comments what your favorite political thriller is. I'll be back next week with another video. Bye, folks.